You're listening to NatSci News Rewind, a podcast that looks back at the monthly news headlines in the world of NatSci. Let's take a look back at the news for the month of August 2021. Learning from a living fossil. As we live and breathe, ancient-looking fish known as bowfin are guarding genetic secrets that can help unravel humanity's evolutionary history and better understand its health. Michigan State researchers Ingo Brash and Andrew Thompson are now decoding some of those secrets. Leading a project that includes more than two dozen researchers spanning three continents, the Spartans have assembled the most complete picture of bowfin genome to date. Their research findings were published August 30th in the journal Nature Genetics. Laura McCabe tapped to lead regulatory affairs at MSU. Laura McCabe, PhD, has been named the new assistant vice president for the Office of Regulatory Affairs at Michigan State University. Her appointment began on August 16th, 2021. In the new role, she will be responsible for all current units under ORA and additionally export control and trade sanctions. Mapping the lake trout genome to ensure the species' future. Lake trout is an iconic native species to the Great Lakes. MSU integrative biology doctoral student Seth Smith is leading an effort along with his professor and an international team of researchers from the U.S. and Canada to create a reference genome for lake trout to support state and federal agencies with reintroduction and conservation efforts. The research from the team was published on August 5th in the journal Molecular Ecology Resources. Midwestern butterflies could be the key to understanding the insect apocalypse. With the help of a $500,000 grant from the United States Geological Survey, Midwest Climate Adaptation Science Center, and 30 years of data, MSU quantitative ecologist Elise Zipkin and her multi-institution team will shed new light on the insect apocalypse. In a recent study, Zipkin developed a modeling strategy to analyze climate effects on monarch butterflies and found a strong correlation between temperature and precipitation in spring and summer breeding ranges and the subsequent size of the overall population. Motivated by these findings, her team is extending the models to other species. Biodiversity needs better data archiving. Missing metadata, data that provides information about other data, might not sound like a big deal, but it's a costly problem that's hindering humanity's plans to protect the planet's biodiversity. A Spartan-led research team reveals surprising gaps in ecological genetic data that could otherwise help global conservation efforts. MSU's Rachel Tazalowski is the lead author of a new study in the journal Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, which features researchers from 14 institutions in three countries. The team audited the largest global repository for storing genetic sequence data to see if the entries included basic metadata needed to make them useful for monitoring genetic diversity. NSF Early Career Award Project offers new view of Earth's interior. MSU seismologist Sean Way is a recipient of a $501,597 National Science Foundation Early Career Award to conduct a series of seismic attenuation studies on regional and global scales. These systematic investigations will potentially advance our understanding of seismic interpretation under mantle dynamics and material recycling in the Earth's interior. Following your gut, MSU scientists discover a remarkable role of intestinal cells. Currently, there is no cure for inflammatory bowel disease, or IBD, a condition that includes Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. But new research led by MSU scientists is bringing fresh insight to the IBD table, an unexpected connection between specialized cells in the gut called glia and the genes involved in IBD. Their findings, published in Cellular and Molecular Gastroenterology and Hepatology, could lead to more effective treatments for one of the most elusive gut problems in the world. MSU ecologists receive award for endangered species forecasting work. A few years ago, Michigan State University quantitative ecologist Sarah Saunders and Elise Sipkin created a new statistical model to understand the threats endangered species face. Now, as federal agencies continue to use those findings, the research has earned this year's Ecological Forecasting Outstanding Publication Award from the Ecological Society of America. Pandemic-motivated project advances understanding of plant response to stress. It was the beginning of the COVID pandemic and MSU plant biologist Emily Josephs could not go into her lab to work because of safety restrictions. So, she called up friend and colleague Regina Bauckham from the University of Michigan to see if she would be interested in collaborating virtually on an experimental evolution project using Bauckham's existing system to study morning glory and Josephs' plant genomics data analysis expertise. The pair wanted to understand if a plant's environmental response to stress is adaptive or helpful to the plant. The results of this study were recently published in the journal Evolution Letters. And that will wrap up the Rewind for the month of August 2021. To read more about these stories, head on over to our website at natsci.msu.edu news. You can also stay up to date by following us on social. You can find us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at MSU Natsci. 
Thanks for tuning in and be sure to check us out next month.